I don't know any, <laughs> I don't know any entrepreneurs who's like, yes, finance. We're gonna do this. I can't wait to set up the books. I can't wait to figure out my class structures. Oh man, it's so excited. I like, I, I get to file my tax returns this year. Yeah. Do you know anyone who does that? I don't know any entrepreneurs who, who do. I know accountants who don't even do that. But when you're starting up your company, the way that you set up your structure and your books is so important. And you have no money in most cases. So you wanna save money. You don't wanna hire an expensive accountant. You don't wanna to talk to really expensive lawyers that charge you, you know, two or 400 or $800 per hour. And so a lot of people just start. They start with a personal bank account. Maybe they get a corporate account. They start by by just using spreadsheets and everything else. And, and I'm here to tell you that depending on how complicated your business is, that could be a huge mistake. When I started my company, not even day one, a month before I started my company, I talked to my lawyer and I got my business name and I became legally incorporated and all of those things. And then I talked to an, a bookkeeper, not an accountant, I talked to a bookkeeper because the bookkeeper is the person who could set up my books, who could set up my structure, who can help me figure out how do, do, I, do I do credit card processing? Or do I pay by check? How do I collect stuff? How do I send stuff? When should my fiscal year be? And a good bookkeeper will help you set all of these systems and things up. And they're so much more affordable. You know, like my bookkeeper is $50 an hour. My accountant is $450 an hour. When you're starting up your company, you wanna save every dollar you can. But I'm telling you, find a good bookkeeper. You can do it part-time. My person's part-time. I just, they, they don't even come into the office. I have a computer with a remote desktop and they can log in and do it. But I sat down with them and I said, this is the type of company I'm running. This is the type of company I wanna be. This is how I see growing the company. Please, what do I do? What do I do with tax codes and sales tax? And how do I prepare my books? How do I invoice people? Do I do cash in, cash out, which is legal in some places? Or do I have to do accrual based accounting? There are all these weird little details. So go out and find yourself a really great part-time bookkeeper. Get someone to help you set up your books, get someone to help you set up your bank accounts, to connect all of the systems with PayPal or e-commerce or even just checks. Get someone to help you understand the process for, okay, great, a bill comes in, what do I do with this? You know, in our company, the bill comes in, we scan it, that scan goes to the bookkeeper, the bookkeeper enters it into the books, they do whatever the heck they do with the class systems and stuff, and then based on the 30 days or whenever it's due, the payment gets put into the system as a check, the check gets printed out, I sign the check, and then it goes in the mail and goes out, and they kind of take care of everything. My advice to you is get yourself a bookkeeper, and then get yourself a really affordable accountant. Because they're gonna figure out what the bookkeeper can do day to day, who's cheaper, and what the accountant can do for your year end filings and your taxes and all of those things so you don't get into trouble. And as your business becomes more complicated, if you start payroll, if you have to do with uh, federal or, or local taxes, sales tax, all of these things need to be taken into account. So, so start from day one with a great footing, with a great team, and you're gonna be set up for success. Now the other thing is, when you have your books set up, how do you know what to do with them? You know, people talk about P&Ls, profit and losses. They talk about cash flow statements. Some people track things in advance and other people don't. Truthfully, I run my business in a pretty simplistic way. You know, I care about cash flow. I care about my P&L. And for my management, I forecast potential sales. Now, my bookkeeper and my accountant, they're much more savvy. They do, they look at a ton of different metrics and they're gonna warn me about something if, if there's this, you know, three months from now, look out, Mark, this bad thing may happen. But for my day to day, I really just look at, you know, do we have strong cash flow? Uh, receivables is the other thing I look at. If you look at these things every month, let's say, or quarter when you're starting, that's pretty good. I would recommend looking at them maybe weekly, but you know, if you're looking at it once a month, you're in a pretty good place. The more you know, the better off you're gonna be, but don't get too bogged down in this stuff. Make sure that you're set up for success. Make sure you're not breaking any laws. Make sure that you're ready to scale and grow. But your job is to do your service, to build your company, to market, to sell, to do all the things you have to do as a startup. Your job shouldn't be worrying about taking the check and scanning it and stamping it and going to the bank and then worrying about uh, reconciling that at the end of the month and all of this other stuff. Your job shouldn't be taking each invoice or each receipt from every single coffee or lunch and entering into the, like it's a waste of time. 
outsource it, focus on growing on your business, get the reports that you need, and then move on. Let me know what you think of this. If you have different advice, if you think I'm completely crazy, you tell me. And like always, I want you to think big, be bold, and say yes. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I can close, but like the whole video is like, get a bookkeeper. Yeah.